Okay, by now I I hope that you already understand at least the basics of the second language acquisition together with the definition of syntax and then some basic rules in grammar and of course the basic properties of the English syntax. So for now, our discussion, this is just very short, it will be about the areas of study in the study or, or in the English. This is for you to be able to create a more comprehensive view of the different focuses of syntax. So at the end of the lecture, you should be able to first recognize the different areas of study in syntax and second demonstrate awareness on how these areas of study are interrelated and are significant in the study of syntax so what are these areas first we have the word order some of you were actually able to point out in your impressions on the significance of identifying the proper word order so that you can create a grammatically correct sentence and you are right with that so every language has a general word order so generally in the english language the common word order follows this subject plus verb plus the object. However, as we go through with our discussions, especially on the noun, on, on the um, PS rules or the phrase structure rules, together with the discussions on grammatical functions, you will get oriented on the fact that the English language is not just limited to this general word order pattern. Second area of study is agreement. Of course, you are very much familiar with the subject and verb agreement, but since this is basic in the study of syntax and for you to create um, grammatically correct sentences, we will go through this in midterm period together with the determiner and noun agreement, noun and pronoun agreement, among others. So basically, this will also follow um, a discussion on lexical accuracy, thus helping you all to become more grammatically efficient in your constructions. Third, hier hierarchical structure, what modifies what in a sentence. We will also focus on cases such as the complement case, the preposition case, among others, and of course, the moods. Although this is very basic, um, you have the interrogative sentences, the conditionals, etc. So, this three general areas of syntax on this slide are just discussions on what was presented earlier about the word order in a particular sentence and primarily you know you need to know what modifies what what are the cases of the verb and what is the mood of the sentence so, in a nutshell, syntax covers all the aspects of grammatical relations between or among two or more words in the sentences. So, this is how significant it really is for you to really understand the basic concepts of syntax or at least its nature. And as we go through the semester, you will be oriented, informed, be fully able to investigate, to explain these rules and to hopefully become more engaged in communication using grammatically correct sentences. So here is the reference. Thank you.